stop. Lo and behold. Can you dig it? <laughs> we back, we back, we back. We back in this situation again, man. And I'm always forced to be the one to point out all the bullshit. What? That's the notification. Close some of these windows. Pulling on this. There we go. Peace. He said, you know we had to make it juicy for him. <clears throat> what up? Mr. CT, moderators, I see y'all in here. Y'all just got done. Watching the NBA, a lot of y'all consumed a little pork. I know it. Happy holidays to y'all. Come in here and bug out with y'all for a minute. Ross Meisha, long time no see. Nigga, where you been in the county? <laughs> Yo, where you been, uh, fam? Camp Hill? He said no pork. <laughs> Ross, what's up, pimp? Let me find out, man. He was down ACJ or something. No pork on my fork. Greetings, everyone. Um, since everyone's here and it's the holidays, I'm gonna sing y'all a song. Y'all ready? <clears throat> Oh, these carrots are divine. You get a dozen for a dime. It's magic. Yeah. That's my song. Damn, I lost my pill. Fucking around trying to shoot my jacket in my pill. Ah! You really shot a J in this motherfucker. He said. My son been down there, so you feel it. He moved to Smithfield. Boom, boom. He said it's going to be a good year for the dribble and all the supporters. Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. Make sure y'all go to the website, man. Get knitted. Pillmatic 2 on the way. If you follow me on Instagram, it's always an uproar on my page. At I am Gully TV underscore. I can't speak my truth, man. I can't ever speak my truth. I gotta come over here and speak my truth. Oh, I should admit it just right. You know what I'm saying? I have to come over here and speak my truth. When I do it on Instagram, it's too much. It's always an uproar. Is y'all tired of Dame Dash yet? Is y'all tired of Dame Dash yet? He said that DC look. I learned how to hang this scarf in Paris, in Paris. I learned how to. I learned how to hang this scarf in Paris. He said, "Talk to us, G. I'm trying to get the motor started. Happy holidays to everybody. Y'all share this live." As he said, "We've been over Dame. Um, there's there's a, there's a new clip out right now where he's saying he, how uh, Jay Z he was always stealing songs." Come on, fam. Come the fuck on, man. Come the fuck on, man. We don't want to hear that from you, man. Not now, man. We don't want to hear that from you, man. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't want to hear that from you. We don't want to hear no more Jay-Z shit from you, man. You need to move on. It's a lot of people that said, man, he's a little, you know, he helped make him a billionaire and da 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 He said, man, you need to go do something else, my nigga. You need to go do something else, man. Like, if your dribble was as uh, effective as you profess it to be, you will go create you another endeavor, man. Something that, you know, will appease you and shit, man. So you don't be online, man, looking crazy, man. Just going on and on and on and on about this nigga. And people talking about what he did to him. Let me tell you something, right? Everybody been shorted grams. Everybody got shorted some grams. You could either retaliate 
Or you can move the fuck on, man. Don't nobody want to hear this nigga keep talking about this nigga over and over. Man, this shit getting... The, the, come on, man. Like, stop it. Please. Shit. He said he's been talking about Jay for over 15 years. Man, go do something with yourself, man. Like, you keep... That, that shit is annoying. Like, what the fuck? Don't nobody want to hear that shit. He had creative control and that shit flopped, DD12. Man, go do something with yourself, my nigga. Go do something with yourself, man. As soon as a motherfucker go do something for themselves, they don't give a fuck what a nigga did to me, what a nigga didn't already did to me. I'm used to being treated like shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, keep talking about this shit over and over and over and over. Now he's a song thief. He was, was he a song thief when you was with him? Was he a song thief when you was with him? No. He was the best MC in the world when you was with him. But now he's a song thief. Nobody wants to hear this shit, man. For real. Nobody want to hear it. Go find something else to do, man. And I, I I can't even empathize with people like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't care that shit is fucked up for you and shit like that. What I said on Instagram, I meant it. He ain't, not, he ain't did nothing since Jay-Z that matters. He hasn't. He hasn't did anything since Jay-Z that matters, man. And don't nobody want to hear what the fuck Hov did to him. Everybody got cheated. Everybody got shorted grams, man. Move around, man. What the fuck is wrong with you? He need to let it go. He's still latching on to Jay-Z in 2023. He's insane. Let me tell you what makes it more bizarre and perverted, right? Listen. Listen to this. When a nigga get to talking about blackball, when you hear motherfuckers say blackball, that terminology comes from frustrated Negroes who have become uninvited to participate in the white man's economic infrastructure. That's what the fuck that is. That's what it is. When he's saying blackball, he's saying, I can't go to the fucking Michael Rubin parties. They don't want me there. That's what the fuck he's saying. That's what he's mad about. He want to be with them niggas. He want to be with them niggas. He do. He do. And furthermore, right? How the fuck you going to get blackballed from your own fucking culture? How the fuck you get black? You can't. It's impossible. How the fuck do you get? How can the fuck can you be a Negro, a nigga, and be blackballed from hip hop? How the fuck is that possible when we, when we created it and shit? Who kicked him out? Who kicked him out? The niggas in Harlem kicked him out? Niggas in New York kicked him out. Who the fuck kicked him out? When when they get to saying black ball and shit, you know who the fuck he talking about. He not talking about Jay-Z. He not talking about Jay-Z. He not. He not. He not. He talking about them white folks, yo. That's what he's saying. That's what he's saying. That shit is old. Move around. If you are as independent as you say you are, you always talking about this independent shit, this black shit, black shit, black shit. Go create something, my nigga. Go get busy. Go do something with yourself. You always talking about independence. Exercise it. Demonstrate it. What the fuck? That's his means of trying to stay relevant by talking about him all the time. Man, come the fuck on, man. He says, Dame has said multiple times he's tired of speaking on the issue, but every time he gets invited to these platforms, he know what the fuck they going to ask him. He know what they going to ask him before he get there. He could he could tell them that, that that's something that's not, not going to be discussed. He keep taking the interviews. He don't have to keep doing that shit. He wants to vent. He wants to talk about that shit. He do. Talking about black ball. How the fuck you black and get kicked out of fucking your own goddamn culture? Y'all know what he talking about when he's saying black ball and shit. He's saying that they won't let him play the game in his own culture. Makes no fucking sense. I heard Jay didn't still excuse me, miss, from young Chris. Man, young Chris couldn't rap like that to save his fucking life. You serious? Young Chris ain't never rapped on that on that level as excuse me, miss, man. Y'all can't be fucking serious. Cut it the fuck out. He didn't rap on that level before the song or after the song. Stop it. Damn. The plug questions your intentions.
I'm just looking at it objectively, right? Why do you keep talking about this nigga, man? What's wrong with you? We get it, something happened between y'all. You fumbled, whatever. Move the fuck around, man. He may have borrowed that Miss Whisper shit, but stop acting like Chris wrote for a nigga who doesn't write. <laughs> Just stop it, man. That goes against the whole theory. It, don't. Don't do that. Don't do that. I had to address that. That's something that's going on on my Instagram page. Niggas get to talking about what a motherfucker did yesterday. What you did yesterday don't matter. Not unless you're getting residuals. It don't. You got to keep on dribbling. He's not blackballed. He just got an abrasive personality. So if the niggas he was barking at have the power, why deal with him if they don't have to? Man, you got to go get some fucking talent, man. You got to break somebody, man. You got to do something, pimp. You got to do something, man. I subscribed to, you know, whatever it was he had going on, man. I was downloading them, them little movies and them episodes with Murder Mook and them niggas in there. Shit was all right, man, but that shit wasn't. Nah. It's no such thing as being blackballed. Everybody that screamed blackballed, they didn't have a lot going on to begin with, man. Like somebody like I, I think Jaguar, right? She's somebody with, that will scream blackball, right? Come the fuck on, man. She online talking about Patty LaBelle. Patty LaBelle old enough to probably be her mother and grandmother. Damn shame. When motherfuckers can't produce something correctly, this is their new um, industry. Get online and um, talk about motherfuckers. What you think about the Diddy T.D. Jake situation? It was a preacher an evangelist on them tapes that Molly had. I said it was Kirk Franklin. It would. It, I'm almost positive it was, I can't say I'm almost positive, but for some reason, Kirk Franklin name kept, kept coming to mind, but now that this has happened, I, I just remember it was one of these down south preaching niggas, one of them super churches. <laughs> oh, shit. I can see Dame's argument to an extent. Man, why is you online talking about Jay-Z was still in songs, man? What the fuck is you doing, man? You know that's the God MC, man. That nigga liked that on the mic. That nigga liked that on the mic, man. Stop saying he was still in songs. He, he probably was doing a general practice that you motherfuckers do, that y'all do when, you know, motherfuckers sit in they, uh, they demo tapes and shit like that. You be the... Clip the concept from a motherfucker. Y'all do that shit together. Y'all do that shit together. Talking about he was stealing songs. He's Rockefeller. You with him. You stood the profit from the shit. So you was down with it. What the fuck is you telling for now? Creep shit. Man, go invent something, man. Fuck out of here with that bullshit. He said, you see what they trying to put on BG? Yeah, that's the... um. That's the new age of masculation that, you know, black people use on each other. Rat, blade, pedophile, you know, the shit that they put on a motherfucker. Doom, 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 doom. He said, not the song theory, thievery. I'm talking about the shit he was doing for him in the meetings. Jay-Z was still in songs for real. Dame helped him with Hard Knock Life. That was made for another artist, and Dame paid cash for it on the spot. Can I Get A was Ja Rule's song, I believe. I know that Renegade was Royce the Five Nine song, but this is a general practice that goes, goes on in the music business. Man, let me get that. My man... My man just did it. Just Fat Joe just did it with Big U. I ain't young. I, I, I'm done sugarcoating it. Fat Joe just did it with Big U like a year ago. Big U got a dope ass song, man. I forget the name of it. I don't care. He got a dope ass song, man. And um, 
Fat Joe was around. I mean, spend the time around Fat Joe, and then Joe Joe came out with the song, and I'm like, damn, yours is better and shit. Like, and hit Big O shit was getting like no- noticed, like it was hot. Joe, it didn't do nothing for him and shit. And uh, hey, musical politics, musical chairs and shit, something like that. I forget the producer name for Rockefeller, but he said, damn, Cap'n. That was young Guru. Guru just said that. I seen that. Oh, give it to me. That was Emilio Sparks' song. But Sparks gave it to him or sold it to him or whatever. I interviewed Sparks. I did a whole documentary with Sparks called Let the, Let the Sparks Fly, asking face-to-face. Asking face-to-face. He said it was his song. That funk, that stink, that nasty, that good. That was Spark's song. But he gave it to him. Shout out to Sparks. Guru from around my way in Newark. Well, after he left Delaware. If you send any big artist a song and let them hear it, they're going to steal it almost every time. Jay-Z stole Camp Lope Beats. I think they said that politics as usual was a camp flow song. Don't quote me on that though, but I know he has something with camp flow. Sparks didn't have his publishing set up properly, if I'm not mistaken, and the song came out before he got it right. I remember when this first came out, I said, This don't sound like Hove. Sparks is still on the arm. Um, the hook. Give me that funk, that stink, that 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 gushy stuff. That sparks. Feeling it was a camp low song. Okay, feeling. All right. Ice Cube stole Cypress Hill. Throw your set in the air. That hook was written by Rick James. Ski gave Jay them camp low beats. How do you steal a song that's a stray sample? You have to ask one of these producer niggas or one of these niggas to steal. All producers will give a song to hold. Camp low was carried by beats. That's why. That's not true. Them niggas can rap. If you need a reference song, look up a song by Camp Low called Glow. He said, Sparks was on that dust. Can you blame Hove? Ice Cube stole Chuck D delivery. I don't know about that, but he did spend time with Chuck when he went solo. Give it to me, hook was from a go go artist. Nah, nah, that was Rick James, yo. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you get the notifications. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at Gully TV One. Getting back to um, you know, my my topic here and shit. Y'all be acting like people not supposed to have a general opinion. For real. I'm entitled to the, to a general opinion. I think he talked about Jay-Z too long for him not to be like doing nothing. Seriously. He says, so because you on drugs, you deserve to get robbed. Shouldn't be doing business while you on drugs. Artists steal a bar all the time. The concept for the movie Friday came from a record. The loonies were making based on a dude selling bud from an ice cream truck. Good artist copy, great artist steal. Picasso. Wow. Make sure y'all follow me on Twitter, Gully TV One. Something else I had to talk to y'all about. Damn dash. Maybe it'll come back to me. It was a good one too. Mm. 
I hope it come back to me. Ernest Vibe said, where can I send new music? Probably SoundCloud, man. <laughs> Daryl Javon, I appreciate the super chat. <laughs> there you go. My man, this is a business, pimp. It's a business, man. I'm gonna give you my best, man, once you pay me. But yeah, if you listen, if you're looking for somebody to listen, man, good old SoundCloud, man. They all they seem to be taking uploads over there. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, what the fuck else do I have to say, y'all? It's gonna come back to me. It's gonna come back to me. It's gonna come back to me. Fuck is like, man, Dame did this, Dame did that, man. Dame ain't did shit in a long time, man. Nothing that's potent, nothing that matter, man. You can't just be talking, man. Some of us really be getting busy, man. Some of us really be working like a motherfucker, man. Getting down and shit, man. Like a lot of people, you know, they 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 get an ear, they get a look, probably because they was already established as being famous. But you got to put in some motherfucking work, yo. And um, don't be offended by me point point pointing out niggas' lack of work ethic. Period. Don't don't even, cause I'm gonna say it. I am. I am. Oh. Mm. Hit Boy's father. Hit Boy's father and his freestyle at Bars on 9-5. Bars on 9-5. Y'all owe, y'all owe us an apology. Y'all owe us an apology. Y'all do. Y'all do. Y'all know y'all wrong. Y'all know y'all wrong. We've come to love y'all platform. Sue Surf sat in that seat. He did. Sue Surf sat in that seat. Y'all can't just be doing this shit, man. Like, it was a time when a rapper was, like, special and shit. Like, motherfuckers was in awe of rappers and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got so many people trying to put this shit down that it just, it just fucks everything up, man. It makes... It makes it hard for you guys who are actually legitimate rappers. You know what I'm saying? For y'all who really, really do this shit, man. For a motherfucker to come along like five mics and these different niggas that be just popping out of the fan, chill. You know what I'm saying? You got your, your A plus B flow together and shit like that, man. But chill, man. Like chill, 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 chill. Because a motherfucker going to tell you if it's whack or not, right? Mainly me. That shit was whack. That shit was whack, man. Uh, you 50 years old, man. You got to you talking about all oh, you banging on this and you banging on that. You banging. You should have been banging on wax in 1993, man, with Red Rum and the rest of them niggas, man. Like that shit is over with, my nigga. Like if you gonna come to the sur- take the mic out your hand, man. That's we got to get back to that, man. Put the fucking mic down. Put the mic down. Like, I tried to sugarcoat it. We got to get back to that. Start just saying it to niggas from the door. Yo, man, you cool and all and shit, man. But chill, fam. Like, chill, man. Because this shit right here, this shit for real and shit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas be, my fuck is all in this nigga uh, comments with flame emojis and shit like this shit hot. Man, we all listening to this shit. This shit garbage. You know what I'm saying? And it's niggas that really, really be rapping. Some of y'all in here really, really be rapping. These niggas don't be in y'all comments with the flame emojis. And y'all really be getting it the fuck in. You feel me? Some of y'all really be getting it the fuck in. These niggas, some of these niggas is y'all contemporaries and shit. Be in these chats with y'all and shit. This is how you know the sex aspect and music and shit like that is good. This is how you know that nigga. Took off his clothes for a hundred thousand. Look at the groupie. Look at the shit. Just look at the shit that goes on, man, in public. Just look at the look at the fruity shit that goes on in public, man. Just, man, you just sucked the dick in his comments. You just ate a gun in his comments, fam. 
Like, niggas need to say that, man. You eating a gun right now, my nigga. You, you, and you, y'all all eating gas right now. Y'all think that you got a future in this shit because this is Hit Boy's father. Maybe he'll see you bigging up his father and you, you might, he might have some type of empathy for you and develop a relationship with you because you did all of that. Some of y'all need to fucking park it, man. That shit is not cool, yo. It's not cool, man. And don't be afraid to say it, man. This is hip hop, man. Y'all want to keep this shit pure? Y'all want to keep it potent? Tell niggas this not nice. Chill. You ain't no good, my nigga. You not. I ain't never put a nigga on this platform, man, that wasn't no good, man. There's a screen in this shit. I don't give a fuck how much money you get. You can't pay me to make my shit whack. You crazy? Can't do it. I can't do it. Can't do it. And um, yeah, I was gonna get to that. Hit boys, his his rap was trash too. Your raps was trash too, man. Chill, man. Go. You need to get Esco together. You need to get Nas together, my nigga. Like, you ain't even mastered that yet. He having turmoil and shit off your beats. Here you come think you about to put your father down and shit. It's not going to work, man. Shit whack. Fucking up the integrity and shit. When, when, we, when we act like a motherfucker ain't whack or we act like a motherfucker ain't average, we fucking up the integrity and the potency of this shit. You feel me? You got to say it. And when you see a nigga encouraging it or, 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 or um, supporting it, supporting bullshit, you know that they they not right. That nigga ain't right. When you go look in his comments, just look, read, look in his comments and see them people. And you go say, yeah, he ain't right. He ain't right. He ain't right. She ain't right. That ain't right. That's not right. There's some niggas that's really, really rhyming around this motherfucker. For real. And get no support. Some of y'all right here. Some of y'all right here. Green Double. Dumb Nice. Told me a few months ago, man, back in the summer, he said, man, I don't know if people jack and green, man. He said, I don't know if they get it. I said, I get it. I like it. But they not in green comments telling him, yo, you lethal. They not doing that. You lethal. You that nigga. You, it's, it's all murder in this tablet. Y'all not saying that. Y'all saying y'all y'all going and encouraging a motherfucker who can't rap. Period. Period. That's a fucking shame. That's a crying shame. What I um what I'm most thankful for from 2023 is my vision. My eyes is open to a lot of shit. A lot of shit, man. These lessons are worth more, way more than money. You know what I'm saying? Cause because it'll save your life. It'll save your life. You need to know the character traits that some niggas possess. Like, they'll conceal it. They'll conceal it. You know what I'm saying? You just got to watch. That's why we got two eyes, two ears, and one mouth. You know what I'm saying? To observe. He said, I listened to Boy Father. That flow was trash. Rapping over Getaway. He, he said, they, before he got, man, do you know that this beat was uh, produced by Havoc? From, from Mob Deep. Do you know the history behind this beat before you get on here fucking around and shit? He said, Nas need to get with Havoc, Havoc and Primo. I agree. I agree. A lot of music was not good this year. I agree with that too. He said, I would have been embarrassed if I was for Hip Boy. I was embarrassed for him. I have a father. If my father was up there spitting whackness in public, I'd feel some type of way because I'd know everybody laughing. I'd know everybody laughing before, behind them fake grins and shit. Man, this nigga garbage, man. Do you know that this is bars on the i Do you know the type of motherfuckers that sat in that chair? He said his flow is 30 years old. Why? It's some 30-year-old flows that's fire, man. <laughs> That ain't it. Cool Kim from the UMCs, man, be rapping his ass off Monday through Friday, doing skits, dress, dressing up in costume and all kind of shit. Y'all don't be in his comments telling him that that shit fire, and it is. And it is fire. It is fire. Y'all don't be saying that shit. But y'all, but this, this is fire, big hit. Y'all can't fucking be serious.
can't be serious. Here you go. Nah, don't disrespect OG was a real one. Solid Metro Tons was a freestyle. OG is garbage, my nigga. OG is garbage, yo. Straight up. He needed to go back to where he came with my nigga. Park the CB4 shit. Benny Franks from Chicago, that nigga rapping his ass off. Videos every week, fire. Y'all just, y'all do what's called political dick riding, yo. Political dick riding. It's like, a, it's another form of emasculation and shit. That's how you know that a nigga will try some freak shit to be down. Just look at the shit that they be doing. Just look, I'm telling you, if they wouldn't, man, suck this dick. Motherfucker been in there, that shit. Ain't nobody gonna know. I'm gonna put you on. <laughs> Embarrassing your family. He said he made little Yachty sound like Rock Kim. He from my hood. Nah, I, man, fuck all of that shit you talking about, my nigga. He's whack. You should feel some type of way. You feel me? You should feel some type of way. I interview, I interview Cali MCs to get busy. That wasn't it. I'm going to say it. If a nigga come here from any region and it's whack, I'll be the first to remind him. I'm telling you. So don't act like it's that. It's not. It's about trash. Do, 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 do. He said, Gully, you could tell it in his cadence. That man ain't never been nice a day in his life. <laughs> He said, I ain't mad at the, I ain't mad at the nepotism attempt, but come the fuck on. Don't blame me, man. Don't blame me. Blame the pen that he wrote it with. Seriously. Because this bar's on 9-5, you know what I mean? We, we be expecting something. That's all I'm saying. I got to protect the integrity of this shit. Nobody seems to care anymore, man. A lot of whack shit be going down and niggas don't say, we got to blow the whistle. Blow the whistle from the door. Blow the whistle. He said, I was thinking it was a joke. I was thinking it was a joke too. I'm like, is this a, um, what the fuck? You know, the people that be on a Vegas strip, like walk up and be Michael Jackson and shit like that. And, them performers and shit. I thought he was like one of the performers that be on the, the Vegas Strip and shit. Like, and he was a Nipsey. That's what I thought. I'm not bullshitting. I, that's what I thought he was because he kind of sound like him and shit. <laughs> and I'm like, I had to look further into this shit because what confused me was the people that I seen in the comments. I'm saying, so he must have said some shit. Let me take a listen. Let me play this shit again. So before I go public with my opinion, I don't want anybody to think that I jumped to any conclusions and shit. Play it again. Oh, yeah, that's garbage. <laughs> that's garbage. Yeah, that's garbage. Yeah, it is. You know what I got to thinking about? I got to thinking about some of the other fatalities that happened in that position. I got to thinking about, uh, what's the nigga? Safari. I got to thinking about O'Malley. I got to thinking about everybody who got in that position that he was in and went haywire. But I immediately started thinking about O'Malley. And y'all wasn't kind to O'Malley. So you can't accept this. You can't. <laughs> can't. 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 He says Safari is whack. This nigga whack too. Word. You got to gangbang or be blood to understand, Gully. I didn't understand. I didn't. I didn't understand. I didn't. I tried. He said a music parody. Yeah, that's what I thought. The cameraman ain't show no reactions from the host. That speaks volumes about the performance. Yeah. Yeah. We just want to keep it clean. It's about to be a new year. 
we should just point out these things now so we don't go and have to go into the new year with this same type of shit going on. Anybody else that y'all want to um, say whack publicly, we probably need to get it. Anybody else that y'all want to say, say that they whack publicly and they probably shouldn't rap in 2024, is it anybody else? I heard BG and Mano. I'm giving Mano another 90 days. You 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 earned another 90 days for the BG feature. It wasn't too bad. Yeah. He said you gotta keep it real. He said your boy BG told a little something. Go to the website, get right. RealDribble.com. Go over there and get knitted, man. It's, I got combos over there, scarves, all that shit. He said, I understood, but I didn't agree. If you did decades and this is all on your mind, I feel bad for you. I didn't been around some motherfuckers who's trying to force themselves to rap. You feel me? And one of the first, one of the first clues that a motherfucker is not a rapper, I'm gonna go on and fucking say it, is when a nigga gets stuck on one word. When that nigga got stuck on bang for like 30, st- <laughs> when that nigga got stuck on bang, yo, when he couldn't get out of that, them rapping niggas know how to get up out of that shit, yo. A rapping nigga would have put a few words between that and went in another direction. When he got stuck on bang, I said, yo. <laughs> yo. I'm like, yo. I know it. I could imagine the air in that room, yo. He said his, br- his brain was glitching. Everybody in the room was sweating. The niggas behind the cameras sweating. Hit boy sweating. His daddy sweating. The other niggas in the room sweating. And man, they like, man, <laughs> you need a break in the action. Like something has to go on. And then when he get off the off the mic, it's silent. Funeral shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Shout out to niggas who be getting stuck on one word. I done been around enough niggas that rap that I done seen niggas get stuck on a word. I done seen niggas rearrange a whole rap because of a word. Oh, because of one word. Nigga erase a whole half a pair of man. Shit, damn. Motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> erase a whole half a pair. Damn, did you just erase all that shit, man? Cause you got stuck. I seen some other niggas there just put the rap down. Put it down completely. And come up with it like four or five months later, they be rat- writing another rap, and that old rap that they got stuck on, it fit right in there. Boom. And that's the solution. But that's how the professionals do it. And he not no professional. And I knew that after just a couple of seconds of hearing him rhyme. I knew it. He said, can't freestyle, couldn't rhyme nothing with bang. He said, dudes are too sensitive. I'm speaking the truth. No whack MCs, man. Don't touch the fucking microphone. Don't touch the fucking microphone. Period. Boom, boom, boom. He said, what make it bad is when you go back like this motherfucker just say the same shit. This wasn't no good, man. Some CB4 shit, yo. 2023 CB4 shit, niggas encouraging it. If you in his comments cheering that shit on, you should you should feel some type of way, man. You should you should feel some type of way that everybody know what's on your mind and shit. You know what I'm saying? He said he meant well. He said that's how the hip hop Olympics where niggas would get stuck but wrap themselves out of it. Anyway, it's not my fault. Uh, Lead this shit to the professionals, man. Again, um, we used to be amazed at rappers and shit. When you meet a motherfucker that can rap, damn, yo, he can rap. 
anyway, I got to get back to work, man. I got some tweets to return. I appreciate y'all for coming through. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell. Top one so you get the notification. Follow me on Twitter at GullyTV1 and go to the website and get knitted. All right? I'm out of here. Peace. Mm -hmm.